Catholics, we had to make restitution to shopkeepers whose storefronts were destroyed by Lynch's actions. And then last year, after the newspaper headline, the capture of the team, they escaped from a full security military installation. Taking with them a military troop plane under Lynch's command. bunch of jackasses out of all of us. I want it to stop now. I want you to find the A-team and bring them in. You were the best troubleshooter of the past two wars. Until extreme political pressures knock the hat off my career and any possibility of furthering my rank. It seems the very methods that made me uh, an embarrassment and shuffled me off to the side are the exact reasons I'm being considered the best man for this job. I'm not saying. We both know what you're saying, General. So let's don't dance around the floor once. Everybody heard the reports from Nam on these guys. They were the best, because they're fast, sharp, and unorthodox. The way to catch men like this is to play by their rules, which means there are none. What I'm interested in, Colonel, is results. I don't expect detailed reports on the what's, how's, or when's of their apprehension. I just want to know that it's done. You erase the blot from our records, and I'll be very pleased, which in turn means that others will be very pleased. Do what you have to do. Get me the A-team. Yes, sir. Morning. Ah, morning. Are you the only hot dog vendor uh, here in the park? Do you see any other hot dog vendors? No. Ah, well, you won't. I got a contract for the city. Could I have a hot dog, please? Ha. Are you kidding? You mean a lukewarm dog? I just fired her up. Well, that's fine. Uh, whatever. There's a there's a coffee shop across the street. Got hot food. Got good breakfast rolls too. No, I'd like a hot dog. Yeah. Oh, I never heard anybody hot dog. What? What? I said I never heard of anybody eating a hot dog at 11 a.m. Then why do you open up at 11 a.m.? Well, I don't open up, son. I fire up at 11. Dogs are ready by noon. Gets me ready for the lunch crowd. I work from noon to four. I've been doing that about uh, 28 years. I'm well established firm around here. Well, that's great. Then maybe you know Mr. Lee. Uh, who? Uh, Mr. Lee. Uh-huh. Uh, he owns the Chinese laundry up over on uh, 6th Street. Oh, uh-huh. Chinaman? Yes. Never heard of him. Well, he told me to come on down here to buy a hot dog. Yeah, well, I wish he'd told me. I'd have told him to tell you and not to come till noon. See, I fire up at 11, but the dogs aren't ready till noon. I guess you don't know. Sorry I bothered you. Well, uh, uh, got your dog. Oh, that's OK. No, 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 can't take it back. Uh, it, it's a uh, 
help that law, you know, and, and we don't want to throw it away. And, you know, there are people out there starving who would just love a cold hot dog. I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. At 75 cents. Okay, keep the change. Thank you very much. these cold hot dogs I gotta eat. I'll see you this one. Uh, well, uh, I had to have them for props. I mean, uh, you don't want to waste good money, do you? That dude definitely wasn't being followed, Hannibal. So if he's a bird dog for the military, he ain't got no backup. Yeah, I haven't seen any MPs. My conversation with him is Mr. Lee. I think he's a good man with a real problem. We gotta help him. I'll get Amy. You go Spring Murdoch, get hold of Face. I don't know where Face is at. I've been trying to reach him since yesterday. I'm telling you, Booby, we shoot all three pictures at once. That way we get to two secrets.